Good morning, McKinnon. <laughs> So McKinnon is very happy this morning. Um, well, it's not morning, actually. She um, just woke up about an hour ago. Oh my gosh, my rash is spreading, and it looks so bad. I'm so sorry, y'all. That probably looks super gross. Just don't pay attention to anything below my neck. <laughs> um, but anyway, our plan for last night did not work. Um, we, in case you haven't watched the vlog from yesterday, our plan was to give her Tylenol before bed. That way she wouldn't continually wake up during the night from like teething pain. Um, instead she would already have the medicine in her system and she'd be able to sleep. Well, it didn't work. In fact, it was worse than like the past few nights have been. Like she woke up every 10 to 20 minutes. There were a couple of times where she was asleep for maybe 45 minutes. Um, I was moving her back and forth from the bassinet to the rocker, rocker to the bassinet. I fed her, which by the way, is not a normal thing for her. I mean, this has only been going on since like, it's probably been going on for about a week now, yeah. Um, cause it started a couple of nights before we went to Disney for her seven month, um, kind of celebration, I guess. <laughs> cause we went to, um, her character breakfast and everything. This is all blurry. Why is this all blurry? Why am I blurry? Up until then, she had been sleeping through the night. Like, would go to bed at 10 or 11, sleep till the next day, till, um, like 9 or 12, or 9 or 12, like... 9, 10, 11, around there. So she was great at sleeping. And our initial thought was um, sleep regression. And a while back at like six months, this did happen for like a few days and we were like, oh, it was, you know, her sleep regression. But it was nowhere near this bad with her waking up like every 10 to 20 minutes. She used to be able to self-soothe self and she doesn't do that anymore. Like, she does not stop crying until I go to her and like give her a pacifier or pick her up or give her a bottle. Nothing helps. So I called the pediatrician and said, all right, I know I called about Tylenol yesterday, but that didn't even help last night. I was like, she used to be a great sleeper. She slept through the night and now she can't even self, self soothe. <laughs> like she used to and I don't know what to do because she's not sleeping and we're not sleeping. And they said it sounds like a mix of separation anxiety and teething, but it's like all the two of them together and they're both really bad from what it sounds like. So they're sending a note to the pediatrician to see if she has any tips to help her sleep so we can sleep <laughs> because yeah, she needs sleep and we need sleep. I really need sleep because me not getting enough sleep is a trigger for my seizures. And I do not want to have a seizure, especially if I'm home alone with her. I'd prefer not to have any seizures, but you know, especially not if I'm home with her. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, hopefully we hear back with some good news. <laughs> Mama? Are you seeing Mama? Are you seeing Mama? Mama. Mama. 
So we're down here on the floor so she can sit up. It's the only place that she seems to be happy right now. She's got one of her little apple cracker things that are like teether crackers. Yeah. So this is keeping her pretty happy for now. Yeah. She was getting fussy. She was in her little play yard on her back, which is weird. She usually rolls over onto her tummy and she wasn't rolling over. Um, but she was getting fussy, so I got her out. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm going to like fall asleep right now. Matthew is at the church. They have rehearsal tonight. They had rehearsal last night. They have rehearsal again tonight. Tomorrow is Good Friday stuff. Tomorrow is supposed to be his day off. <laughs> you just made a really funny face, McKinnon. <sighs> I'm so tired. Oh my gosh. I talked to her pediatrician about the whole sleeping issue. Well, I talked to the nurse and we kind of went back and forth and she was like, well, I want to send over a note to the pediatrician. The pediatrician came back and said, it kind of sounds like separation anxiety along with teething. And then I said, okay, well, is there any recommendation for what we can do as far as like helping her at night and helping her be able to sleep and all of that? The pediatrician came back and said, well, actually, there's a chance she could be coming down with a virus, so we could always bring her in, just double check for that. So I'm gonna call tomorrow when they open um, and set up an appointment. Hopefully figure out what we can do about this whole sleeping situation or not sleeping situation. <laughs> Maybe she'll do better tonight. I'm gonna give her a bath tonight because you need a bath, don't you? Yeah. She needed a bath last night, but we ended up getting to bed really late because Matthew got home really late. I can give her a bath, like, just by myself, but it really is just easier when it's the two of us. Isn't that right, McKinnon? You ate that whole cracker. Well, that whole half of a cracker because I only give you half at a time. Now you're eating your bib, so I'll give you the other half. <laughs> Do you want the other half? Here you go. Is that yummy? You gotta choose one, your bib or the cracker. All right, good choice. I bet that tastes better. <laughs> McKinnon, have you had a fun bath time? Have you had a fun bath time? And your little swan? Do you have fun? Don't eat that. Don't eat, yeah, it's gonna taste like soap. Look at those feet. Look at those feet. You like your little ducky?